Hi everyone, welcome to Larry Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can attempt and you know successfully create a document in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to be treating year 2014 why practical question. I want to show you how to execute or do answer this question whenever you come across something like this in your computer practical exam. So question one says um, using word processor type set the following passage with 12 points times new roman so and you have the Ni nigeria national anthem we have arise or compile throughout nigeria call will be and so on blah 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 to peace and unity then question b says format passage as stated below the heading if you look at the roman figure one the format you are supposed to give the heading is stated 14 point times new roman in uppercase you are supposed to bold it You are supposed to bold it, you are supposed to centralize and underline it. Then the body, you are supposed to change the first letter to uppercase. And number three says, Roman figure three, you have um, changed the second word in the second line, second first line to uppercase. Then in line three, change the first letter of the last word to uppercase. Save your work in a suitable device, print out the hard copy of your work and submit. Then you are also being asked to state the procedure carried out before formatting the passage. All this will be attempted, okay? I'm going to show you how you can do all this. Now, we are going to be making use of Microsoft Word because Microsoft Word is an example of a word processor. If you go back to question 1A, it starts by saying using a word processor. So, and the most common or the commonest which I, which even WAEC or any other exam, I, the commonest um, word processor which you are expected to use is Microsoft Word. If you have other ones that you think would be uh, useful for you and you are very good at, you can make use of that. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how we can use Microsoft Word to answer this question. Now let's switch over to our Microsoft Word environment to attempt this question. Thank you. Now this is my Microsoft Word environment. I want to attempt the question. The first question says I should type this, the body of the text I have here. I'm supposed to type this, all this in 12 point and also in times new roman so i'm going to do that i'm going to do that by first setting my font i change my font to times new roman can you see that i can see times new roman is displayed here press enter it has been selected then the font size changing that here to what 12 then i go back to my document to my question sorry Nigeria national anthem is the first line so I go back to my word document so I have what Nigeria sorry everything is in small letters so Nigeria so you have Nigeria national then I move down to the next line so the next line says arise O compatriots Nigeria's call obey 
arise comma on by curious Nigeria says Nigeria's call obey then the next line says to serve our fatherland <coughs> The labor of our heroes past. One nation bound in freedom, peace, and unity. So, after typing the body of the text and the heading of the text, that is, after attempting question number 1A, we are supposed to move down to question number 1B, which is format passage as stated below. So the first thing to be formatted is the heading, which you can see, heading of the passage. Apply 14 point Times New Roman in uppercase form. So let's start from the first part of the um, question, which is apply 14 point Times New Roman. So let's go back to our document. This is the document. This is the document. Now we are supposed to apply 14 points to this heading. It's already in Roman, I mean Times New Roman, so we don't need to do it. we don't need to change that. The next question says we should make sure it is in uppercase, in uppercase form. So we are going to go back and come up here where you have change case and click on uppercase. So haven't done that, you go back again to your question. The question says should bold and underline, bold, centralize and underline it. So you are going to click on this icon to bold. You are going to click on this icon in the paragraph command group. This icon to centralize and this icon to, to underline it. So you are going to have something like this. And having done that, the next thing to do is move to the next question, which is a body of the passage. We have attempted Roman figure one under question one b so now let's move to roman figure two change the first letter of each line to uppercase the first letter of each line to uppercase there are two letters doing doing that you can select all the body and come over here where you have um, the change case and select sentence case that does it automatically for you you can see you have a n t w t s t and o all change towards to capital letter sentence case capitalizes the first letter in a sentence you can see others are in small letter 
but if you want to do it in a manual way you can just click at the front of each character erase it by pressing your backspace on the keyboard then click I mean press your caps lock and type A in place of the small letter A then clean away on the next line the N and type capital letter N type capital letter N then you move to the next line erase the T and replace it with capital letter T erase the W replace it with capital letter W erase the T replace it erase this replace it erase this replace it erase this and replace it well I want to believe that the other method the first method I showed you is better and faster instead of doing this that is, this is a manual method now having done that the next thing to do is move down to Roman figure 3 under question 1b we have changed the second word the second word in the first line to uppercase this is the first line the second one is O I change it to uppercase I type what capital letter O another way of doing that is by selecting the O and coming over here and clicking on uppercase any of the two is okay then after that the next thing to do is um, move to the next question that is ro question Roman figure f f IV that's under question 1b it says in line 3 change the first letter of the last word to uppercase the last word in line 3 is fatherland change the first letter or character to uppercase so you can select like I said and come over here and type click on uppercase sorry the first letter to uppercase you are supposed to use sentence case for that let me take it back to lowercase you select the word and use sentence case if that's not working you can do it manually by erasing the F and typing capital letter F that's not difficult at all so having done that the next thing you are expected to do is to save your work in suitable storage so if you have been given a storage to save on by your examiner or by your coordinating teacher all you just need to do is click on file and save click on save I've saved before that's why it's saving all over what I've saved but just to bring up this is what you have saving for the first time when you click on save you are going to get an option like this then you can click on browse select the storage area under computer and save with the name you want for me since I'm saving on the desktop I select my desktop and Nigeria National Anthem by David Armstrong my name is David Armstrong as in I'm taking that name to as my name in creating this document so you type your name as a student or your your full name and your registration number and you save with that on the desktop or any other location that you have chosen the next question says after saving you should was print out the art copy of your work how do you accomplish that you click on file you click on print then you come over here select the printer the name of your printer for me it might be HP Dex LaserJet Professional M1132 or LaserJet um, Professional P1102 any of the two so I haven't selected then you come over here you select the number of your pages and you can click on print then you have your document printed out as hard copy on the paper so having done that the next question is to state the procedure carried out state the procedure carried out before formatting the passage what are the procedures carried out before formatting the passage the procedure carried out is one to read through the question after reading through reading through the question you are supposed to what to type type the title or the heading of the passage which is Nigeria National Anthem then I, I also typed the body of the passage which is what arise or compatriot to the end where you have peace and unity then another thing you did before we started formatting or we did before we started formatting is to what to make sure that our typeset document is in 12 points 
and it is also in what Times New Roman font. Those are the things, those are the procedures we carried out before formatting the passage. Now, what does the word formatting mean? The word formatting means to change the appearance of a text. Formatting in a file is different from formatting a drive, which is a storage location. When you form formatting a storage location means wiping out all the contents of that storage location or that storage device. While formatting a file means adding some qualities to the content of that file. For instance, this is a text document, so you can make it bold, making a text bold, italicizing the text, underlining, changing the font size, changing the font uh, face, and so on. All these activities are categorized as formatting. So the question saying that the procedure carried out before formatting means that those things you did in question number 1A before you started attempting question number 1B, which is format the passage as stated below. So those are the things we did. We typed the heading of the passage. We typed the body of the passage. We made sure that our font is 12 points in typing the passage. We also made sure that our font is Times New Roman. Those are the four things we did or uh, before we started formatting the, the passage. So if you are able to do all this, you are going to get your full mark for that for question one. In the next video, I'll be attempting both question two and 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 in the subsequent video I also attempt question three for 2014 um, YA question. So however before I close up I want you to know that the question you have question number one D in attempting question number one D you are expected to type it type it on the next page or create a new document by pressing ctrl N then you can just type something like this procedure before formatting type in the heading and two typing passage then three is using times new room times new and four is using 12 points font size